Hi, I'm Marna, and this month for our long distance crafts, we have a few doll items we're going to make. Um, in your packet, you'll find this little dress minus the um, findings on it. And I sent a button and some ribbon and a belt that you can add. We're gonna make Barbie a um, skirt out of a Christmas ribbon. Many people have those around their home. And a little Christmas hat. Now this is a little troll and you're gonna get the complete kit for it. Now, don't do the eye highlight as bright as I did. I needed to blend that with some water and I forgot. So it's a little, I don't know, too much, but still cute. Okay, in your packet, you're gonna have a lot of stuff in this Troll Doll um, Ziploc. And you've got your Troll, and we're gonna start it in a second. And you've got your ribbon, a drum, and a piece of sandpaper, a bow, and then your yarn for hair. And the first thing you need to do is take the sandpaper. Now, I like the, um, I call it fingerprint looking. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it has like layers to it. And that's how it comes off. Each of these little strings, um, is how this is built up. These take, how many hours did these take each? About four. About four hours each to make these trolls. To do this, it had to have, um, it's made like this? No, oh. like this. And it has to have, um, what do you call it? The support. Supports. And so on the back, you have a little bit of the support left. And what you need to do is file that down with your sandpaper, or sand it down. You can, if you want to, take those ridges down. Like I said, I like them, I'm leaving them. So that's the first step. But the second step is gonna be painting the eyes. On this one, because mine is red, and most of yours are red, but there are white and green also. The white and green might need a little bit of blush on the cheeks, but I don't think the red does. I am simply going to put eyes in here, and I think I'm gonna go with green eyes. It might look weird, I'm betting it does, but I'm doing it anyway. And then uh, the pupil. Um, the next step after that will be deciding how to make the hair. It's a big area to cover, and this is the amount of yarn we each have, and what I wanna do is blend that. After we do that, we will put a bow in the hair to hold that yarn up, which I think is a cute look. We will dress the troll in the ribbon and add the um, drum to it. Okay, I've said this before with this model, which is code for pattern in um, through the 3D world of the printers, the eyes are not straight. If you look at them, one is a little cockeyed. I'm okay with it. I kind of think it's cute. And I got out one of my uh, jewel bellies, and then I got out another jewel belly, and I laughed because that's actually how the eyes sit in the original. I put uh, the green in the eye, and I'm working on the other side. What I wanted to point out is if you use a marker on this filament, it will run. Um, it will run down into the cracks of the, um, how it's built up. So paint is best and go slow. And what I wanted to show you is, can you see how you kind of have to fill in the filament? If you look at this one, it's flatter because I that's a that's two coats, but this one I wanted to show you, and I'll go back over that in a minute. Okay, while my eyes are drying, I'm going to start the hair. And I tried to think of something that everybody would have so that you could have the same. 
You can use anything you want. This is a suggestion. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the hair a little different. And I'm going to cut a piece of this red. You can do any color you want. And we're going to wrap it around the soup can. Now what you want to do is start your thread on the far side of your um, tie because you'll be cutting the far side. And I want this towards the middle next to the red. So I am going to blend and wrap. And you got to kind of hold your finger on it and bring it around and bring it around and bring it around. And then I'm going to stop there. Keep your two ends on either side of your soup can. And I'm going to add some green and wrap and wrap and wrap. And you, got, you need about six hands to do this, so take your time. And I think I'm going to cut the green away so that it will be more towards the end of our circle. Darren suggested that you could take scotch tape and tape that down. And it shouldn't hurt anything because you're not leaving it very long, so it should not become sticky. Okay, so I took that around. I cut the green. I'm going around a couple more times. And then I'm going to throw the white in there. And I'm taking it to the other side. Oops, wrong side. You have to wrap it in the same direction. And let's untangle this. As you go, you have to untangle. Uh, when I made the packets, I put it around my hand and wrapped and just gave everybody as close as I could to the same amount of these three Christmas colors. So round, or four actually, with the blend. Three colors, four strands. And then stop and undo your knots. Okay, so as I go, I do get tangles. I have to stop, stop and untangle. Just slow as you go. And if you have to set it down, leave your tie side up. And I'm gonna set mine down and untangle this. Okay, so there we are at the end. And it came out to a lot more yarn and I'm very, very thankful for that. What you wanna do is take your ends and tie the tightest knot you can. In fact, Darren, can you put a finger on that or no? If you could get somebody to press their finger down to keep this as tight, tight, tight as possible. And then what I do is after I pull this off, I go back through with my end piece, bringing it around and I knot it again. Um, just because I do, you know me, I like to nail things down. Um, I don't want it falling apart later. And then after we get this knot in, we are going to, on the opposite side, just pull that taut, on the opposite side, take your scissors and cut that into a big old pom-pom. And it takes a second. And then you need to turn on your glue gun or get your glue. I manipulate that around to where I like it. Uh, I might, you can put a part in it if you want. Uh, I'm gonna put the bow in it, so, but you could do that bow in several ways too. At any rate, you need to do your knot side down on the top of your head so that the glue has hold of that. Okay, troll hair is troll hair, and it does not need to be all even. In fact, if it's longer in the front, it works out in the back. However, if you have any really long pieces, take your scissors and simply snip them off. If you wanna leave them, that's fine too. It's troll hair. Then, and you can do this any way you want. I thought it would be cute to add this. This has a twist tie, which you can put around the hair. Now you can do all of the hair or some of the hair. 
And if you wanted to tie this off with a piece of yarn first, and then put your bow on the whole thing, that would be really cute. Or you could do just some of it up and the rest of it down. However you want to do that, I just thought it was a cute pop. Because the hair is a little thicker than I anticipated, and I'm very happy about that, I'm going to grab up a chunk evenly spaced in the front, and I'm going to put my bow around it and crank that down with the wire twist tie if I can. And then I'm going to take a piece of yarn. I, I did have to go cut another piece. So if you want to do it like this, cut a piece of your yarn off before you start making your hair. I'm going to turn it upside down and give it a shake. Take your yarn around the back, all the hair, and tie it off. Okay, so our troll is now ready to dress and give his little drummer boy drum to him. This piece of cord is part of the stringing on the drum. So what you might want to do after you snip this, and I would snip it kind of, here, can you see that? Snip it kind of high, about a quarter inch. And then you just add a little piece of your, or some glue. I like the uh, glue gun. And just fold that over so that it sticks so that it doesn't come unwrapped. This is his clothing. And this is where it gets just a little tricky, not that hard. You're going to take a short end about like this. Put it between his legs, take your drum on the back side where you added your uh, glue gun, go through the little drum. I just go through two of the little pieces, keeping your ribbon straight. Pull that down, put it back up here. Another one of those, it's going to take four hands. I'm going to turn this so that the natural curve of the ribbon goes with the natural curve of his body. Okay, so up through here. Now, I'm putting my finger on that in the back to hold it. As I take this down around his shoulder, back, down, and I want to go into the drum again in the same area, still holding my finger back here, pulling the ribbon around, sliding it through the drum. And yes, it's going to take a little bit of manipulating, but it's not awful. Keep your ribbon between the legs. That's going to be his drawers. Panties, pants, trousers, whatever you call them. Holding this over. And then pull this to the back. Pulling it all tight, keeping it straight. It does take a minute. Just take your time doing it. Then when you get to the back, pull this over. Oh, that twisted on me. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, there we go. All right, and then pull this tight using both sides of your ribbon, pulling this way and that easily, but not so tight that it comes off his shoulder. Pull your ribbon over, one on top of the other. Check your front. Push your drum up, make his arms even. You can see my ribbon folded there, relay it down. It takes a minute to manipulate all this to where you want it, and that's okay, take your time. Pull that up, and then take your glue gun, and simply pull all three of the ribbon pieces together 
recheck it, pull your drum up, and glue that down. Okay, two more steps, or one more step, depending on what you want to do. I'm going to snip this extra piece, now that it's dry, off the back. And then I'm going to put it on a shelf. But what you could do, if you wanted to, take a piece of yarn, take it through your hair piece here, loop it, and you'd have an ornament for your tree. In your packets, you're going to find a Christmas dress, hat, and shawl for your 18-inch dolls. This is also in there. Set it aside for a moment. What I would suggest is for you to put this on your doll and look at it before you decide how you want to enhance it. Now I have her there thinking about it. I Her hat's over there, I have to get it. Now inside your packet, I have sent one bow or one piece of ribbon, you can use it however you want, a piece of ribbon that'd be cute for a belt, and one, some of you have Christmas trees, some of you have holly, others have snowflakes, but one uh, button. And you, of course, can add anything you want. Add ribbon all the way around. I actually thought it would be cute um, to make a little bow out of the green. You know how to make a bow, or a little bow. You start with a bigger bow. Make a bow. I'm not going to make it too fancy because I'm just showing you. And then I kind of thought it would be cute to place these all the way around if you had green. Um, and I might do that on one, but for right now, I'm just gonna add one. Um, and I'm not sure where yet, but what I suggest to you is take the items from your packet, place them on your doll like this, and look at them and decide, for instance, do you want your uh, button charm trinket on the shawl or the dress in the center. What do you want to do? And that's up to you. You all are crafty enough now. You're probably cuter, do cuter things than I do. And just look at it for a minute. And don't forget you have the hat too to uh, decide what you want to do on it. You could also, if you have a bell, or two or three, you gotta pick this stuff off, that's not a problem. You could replace that, um, I think it's cute. I like the pom-pom, but you could put a bell on that and uh, two or three bells right here to match. You can do all sorts of things, so it's really up to you. These are actually called findings, not buttons. And I'm gonna put mine right here, and it does not have a buttonhole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking white thread, let me pull that open and fight the Velcro. I'm finding center, dropping down just a little bit. I'm hand sewing all of these findings on. And you could uh, hot glue, I'm not big on that. Come up next to the, oh, that pulled right through. Need a bigger knot on there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is stitch down, let me make that good size knot, cause boy, that just slipped right on through. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew next to these like every other of the um, sun ray or star ray or snowflake, snowflake, snowflake uh, arm. I have black thread. I started right under the Velcro and I'm just gonna run a running stitch with small stitches in the front and I'm gonna take this belt all the way around uh, it doesn't have to be 
tiny stitches everywhere. On the back, your stitches could be a little larger. All right, in your third packet, you will find a piece of ribbon about this long. Let me measure that for those that are making their own craft packets. This is a piece of ribbon, just Christmas ribbon, about, oh, seven and a quarter, seven and a half, doesn't really matter. And this is about two and a half inches wide. This is that um, craft ribbon that has the um, wire within. And we're going to use that wire, or try to. And if we can't, if you have the accident that I had earlier, I've got a cure for that too. There's also a little hat enclosed, and we're going to make that into a little Christmas hat. We're just going to glue that down with our hot glue gun, and that's just going to become... I don't think that's hot enough yet. Let's talk about the the um, skirt. What you will have, I've got three of these cut in case I do make an error. There's that piece of ribbon right in there. I mean the piece of wire right in the top. And what you want to do is you'll have one end sticking out. Grab hold of that and turn it into a circle. Push it a little bit up. Make that a circle. And what you're going to do is use this circle with a hook, with this being the eye, to close your circle. So make that so that it doesn't slide back inside of your ribbon. Then find the other end. See, I think I pulled that a little bit. This is not as simple as you think. Grab it with a pliers. Pull it this way a little bit. Hold on to this side and pull this way a little bit. And then pull this way a little bit and push that around. What you're doing is you're gathering a little skirt for Barbie made out of fancy uh, Christmas um, ribbon. And just keep pulling that around and pushing it towards the center, pushing your gather towards the center, pulling that on both sides, and then take your Barbie and measure off how big to make it. And what you want is just a little extra in the back because we're going to put a seam in there. Okay, when you get it to Barbie size, you want to snip that wire, and then you want to uh, roll this around so that it holds, holds the place without the wire going back up through your skirt. And then what we want to do, you might want to take a little stitch there. We're going to add a snap there and turn this inside out. Put a little seam here, just a little one. You only want less than an inch because this has to get over Barbie's hips without putting pressure on your hip joints. Add a little snap or closure, turn it inside right, and you have a cute little skirt. Now that our uh, glue gun is warmed up, we're going to take a very small piece of glue gun or glue or whatever we call that. And we're just going to loop this over tight enough around the hat, but loose enough that it doesn't pull up. And then you can cut these or leave it hang. But I'm going to cut these a little bit to make them more even. And there's Barbie's Christmas hat. Okay. I had done one of these skirts earlier, and I accidentally, when I was pulling the gather, I wasn't pulling from both sides, 
I thought I could hold on to it. I did not. And the wire slipped out. And what you can do is take red thread and run a running stitch just under your gold trim and then use that to gather down your skirt. I hope that the long distance crafters enjoyed their craft packets this month. Remember, anybody can do this. You do not have to have a 3D troll. You can use any troll doll to do this craft and you can take the hair out and replace it or just use the hair that the troll has at that moment. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.